For this question, we're told that zirconium has an HCP, hexagonal close-packed structure, and we're given the density. For part A, we're asked to determine what would be the volume of the unit cell in cubic meters, and for part B, if we were given a C over A ratio for this material, they ask us to solve for the specific values of both C and A. So for part A, we can determine the volume of the unit cell because we already know the atomic mass of zirconium, we know Avogadro's number, we're given the density, so the only thing we need to determine in order to find out the volume of the unit cell is Z. Now, the book tells us that Z for hexagonal close packed is six. Why is that? Well, if we take a drawing of the hexagonal close packed hexagonal prism, we can count the atoms that are within this hexagonal prism. There are 12 of these atoms on the corners, and those are each one-sixth of the way inside. We also have two atoms along the top and bottom basal plane centered, so those are half in and half out. And then we have these three atoms that are completely within the hexagonal prism. Adding these up, we get to the six atoms. So now that we know Z, we have everything in this equation to solve for the volume of the unit cell, and we can do so. And we get that it is equal to 1.395 times 10 to the negative 22 cubic centimeters. However, the question specifically asks us to solve for this volume in cubic meters, so we multiply it by a factor to relate the two. We remember that there are 100 centimeters in a meter, but we're talking about quantities cubed, so we need to cube the whole thing. This gives us a volume of 1.395 times 10 to the negative 28th meters cubed. For part B, they then ask us to determine the actual values of the lattice parameters A and C. Therefore, we must first come up with an expression that relates the volume of the unit cell in terms of A and C. The book has a nice expression for this. Looking down the c-axis along the basal plane, we see the following figure. They show that the unit cell of a hexagonal close-packed system can actually be thought of as three parallel pipeds. And therefore, to determine the volume of this unit cell, we simply need to determine the volume of an individual parallel piped and then multiply it by three. They show that the easiest way to do so is to consider the lengths of the lines from C to B and to consider the length of the line C to D. If you know those two lengths, it's simply a rectangle. Therefore, if we multiply those two together, it will give us the area of an individual parallel piped. Therefore, the total area of the basal plane is simply three of those, of the line CD times the line BC times three. We need to determine the length of the line CD and BC. The length of the line CD is simply the lattice parameter A, but BC we're going to need to use trigonometry to solve. We can see this angle 30 degrees, so let's write out that the cosine of the angle 30 degrees, that should be equal to the adjacent, which is BC, divided by the hypotenuse, which is the lattice parameter A. Therefore, BC equals the lattice parameter times the cosine of 30 degrees, which is square root of 3 divided by 2. Now that we know those lengths, we can go ahead and solve for the area. It's going to be a squared times square root of 3 divided by 2 multiplied by 3. To get volume, we simply need to multiply by C along uh, the vertical direction. A squared C square root of 3 divided by 2 times 3. So now that we have a volume that's expressed in terms of A and C, and we know what the total volume is in meters cubed, all we need now is to remember what the C over A ratio is and plug it in. Plugging in 
c equals a times 1.593 into this expression. We can now solve for a. Taking the cubed root of each side will allow us to go from a cubed to a. And now we finally solve for a as 3.23 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. Or in other words, 3.23 angstroms. Now that we know a, solving for c is trivial. We plug it back into this equation right here. And we find that c is equal to 5.146 angstroms.